Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC. We're here in Salt Lake City at SC12. We're here at the Adaptive Computing booth. And I'm here with Nick. Nick? Hello. Hi, how you doing? Good. So I heard you have a cool demo of we Intel do. Xeon 5. We do. What do you got going, man? All right, so what we're doing here is uh, our Torque product, which is the resource manager, uh, is sitting, sitting on all the different compute nodes. It is uh, plugged into the mics, and so it's able to actually plug, uh, pull information from that. So here we are, and we've detected that this, this compute node, SlesMic.ac, has uh, two mics. Uh, we can do the same thing down on CentOS mic, and we have move that down. We have two mics here as well. Uh, what also we're able to grab from the, the mic system is uh, metrics about the mic. Oh, yeah. So we have, uh, first of all, the, the first mic on the system as well as the second mic. And we have information such as uh, uh, how much physical memory is on it, how much is used, how much is available, uh, load, etc. So we can take that information and then our software Moab, which is the workload manager scheduler, can, can use that information for scheduling. So we could say send a job to, the, to a compute node that has the lowest loaded mics or the highest loaded mics uh, or those that might have the, the highest temperature or the lowest temperature. So we can use that information for intelligent scheduling. Uh, also, when a job is submitted uh, that, that uses a mic, it will, uh, a, a, a mic file will be created so the job itself can know which mic on the system is being used. So we'll take a look at this file right here for a job that we have uh, currently out running on the system. And it's telling us that we're using mic zero on the Celeste mic system. So the application itself can, can uh, look at that file and know which mic it is actually using. Uh, which, which many of the applications will, will need that. Yep. Uh, what we also have here is our Moab Cluster Manager tool. It's a GUI representation of what Moab is doing and, and what it's scheduling. So here we see right now that we have these two nodes uh, have the mics and these nodes do not. So it's showing us that we have two mics here. We can take a look at uh, some other features such as available consumable resources. Because even though we have two on there, they're not always available because we have jobs on them. So currently on uh, this first one we have zero available because they're both being used by jobs. And we have one available uh, because only one is being used so it's, it's eligible for a job that needs a mic or eligible for non-mic mic workload. Uh, we can also take a look and report uh, in, in this view of information such as the, those statistics and metrics that we are showing. Uh, we could look at physical memory that's available and so we can see uh, what the memory that's available on the, on the mic systems for, for mic zero in this case. Uh, you can double click on here, take a look at information about the node and also see that uh, there is uh, two mics configured on there and, and, and that information. So the main, the main purpose is to give people that intelligent scheduling with not just their CPUs and memory but also the mic systems.